is going on guys? We are in Forza Motorsport 6 and we got ourselves a brand new car pack and we're going to be starting off with the Mercury Cougar Drift Build. But before we get into it, I quickly want to show you guys what this pack consists of and I will definitely be going through more of the other cars in this pack, but let's just view them all right now. So we got ourselves the 1992 Alfa Romeo, the 2015 Ford Racing Riley MK, we also have, which what we're going to be doing today, the 1990 Mercury Whistler Radar Cougar. The, <laughs> this one's a funny one. The 05 Pontiac Aztec. Uh, and the 1996 Subaru SVX. This car is badass. Uh, the 1967 Sunbeam Tiger. And last but not least, definitely one of my favorites out of this pack. The 1974 Toyota Corolla SR5. Absolutely awesome pack and we're gonna be starting out like I said with the Cougar surprisingly it is not meant for drifting but it definitely can slide and you will see but first let's just go through the upgrades and just show you guys what I did what my tune is so right away I have drag tires front tire width I got 325s rears I have 360s pretty big left the stock rims drivetrain fully upgraded we got ourselves a carbon race driveline platform and handling we have race brakes installed and we did not upgrade the power I didn't want to remo remove any more restrictors because with 675 horsepower that is more than enough considering the car only weighs 2257 pounds now this car is also naturally aspirated, which is pretty cool. But first up, let's uh, let's actually look at the tune really quick, and you guys can copy this down. This is how it is, and it, it is pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with it. It turned out pretty great considering it's a race car. It uh, it definitely can slide nicely. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take it on the track and see what she can do. Hey, here we go guys. We are on the track warming up our tires. Definitely got to do that with this ride especially and it definitely helps as a lot of grip as we're drifting. So yeah, that's basically it right off the hop. Warmed up tires and there we go. We are sliding already. What did I say? This is a freaking race car, but it can go sideways. No problem at all. Definitely a very very fun car and um, You know what? I uh, I really love the design I've, I want to actually talk about the car really quick and one thing I want to talk about is just the design of this car for 1990 it definitely fits its era and I remember you know, about 10 or 15 years ago my dad actually owned a similar a similar car It was a Mercury Cougar looked very similar to this one turbocharged and or I believe supercharged one or the other and I mean it looks quite similar to this so I, uh, I definitely definitely appreciate the way this car looks but besides that just the sound of the engine it's got that nice V8 engine um, has a history obviously Mercury is related to Ford Motors so it is Ford powered we got ourselves a nice Mercury Cougar Ford powered engine and it is definitely badass and we're sliding no problem at all I highly recommend this car if you guys got this pack to try it out you know it is a race car like I said but you will have no problem getting this car sideways you will have to definitely tune it though because it can definitely easily spin out more so to the rear it's a little bit too loose so you're gonna want to stiffen out a little bit and that's what I did and it definitely helps a lot and there we go we're still sliding i want to do the corolla next i really want to make a drift build out of that car because i know that is gonna be a fun one to do so wait for that one guys because that will definitely come and i'll figure out something to do with the aztec because that is just too funny we got to do something with that car so uh, eventually i'll do that but uh, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this drift build. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.